Hey, remember last year at this time, Dr. Fauci was telling us not to gather in groups of more than eight or 10, and we better just eat by ourselves all the time wearing two or three masks. I don't know how you cram turkey through three masks. I've never figured that one out. Now, not many of us did that last year, and probably no one paid any attention to that kind of stuff this year. Most people by now have either had a vaccination or they've had COVID, and they have natural antibodies. I just can't imagine that many people are worried about what some big government cosmic killjoys had to say about enjoying Thanksgiving with their families anymore. Well, sadly, some people from the cancel culture, those from the left, they didn't enjoy a Thanksgiving this year. To begin with, they think the pilgrims were a bunch of imperialistic racists who stole the land and whose Puritan religious views were bigoted because their beliefs came right out of the Bible. I kind of feel sad for the irreligious left, as they probably gathered in groups of three, eating tofu, raw radishes, <laughs> and baked carrots. Ugh. This uniquely American holiday of Thanksgiving, I think it's one of the most important to me, because it's a reminder that our nation was started by some people who sought religious liberty and the freedom to worship God. They risked their very lives to come to a country they didn't know to try and make a better life for their children. They weren't perfect, but after some failed attempts at what we call socialism today, in which they tried communal living, they resorted to capitalism, and they allowed families to own land and reap the benefits and rewards of their labor. Now, the result was that the greatest and the freest nation in the history of the whole world was birthed. And in a really short period of time, that colony grew into what would become the United States of America. And it would rapidly become the most powerful and prosperous nation in the history of all civilization. We're kind of rare in that people from all ethnicities, colors, religions, and races make up America. And all are equally endowed by their creator, with life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That alone is plenty of reason to celebrate this holiday and to take time out to offer a sincere prayer of thanks for this God-blessed land. I got a lot to be thankful for. A devoted wife, three grown children, seven truly extraordinary grandchildren, Maybe I'll show you a picture sometime, huh? Lots of friends, a roof over my head, food on the table, even if, thanks to Joe Biden and Congress, it sure cost a lot more this year. <laughs> and because gasoline was so much more expensive this year than last, uh, let's face it, most of us stayed close to home, and that was good too. I hope that you made your list of reasons to be thankful, and I hope that you expressed your thanks to God from whom all blessings flow. Now, if you're seeing this, I know you've enjoyed that video. I mean, how could you not after all? So you know what you should do? Leave a like, click on the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell next to it so you'll always know when I have another video up for you to enjoy.